Why haven't got any for you? This is a video to show you the sort of problems you can have when you go out to a, a store, you know, a bit like a, what would, a, what would you call them in America? Yeah, a pawn shop. Well, they don't call them quite the same thing in England. But I've bought things from them off and on a few times. You know, like uh, iPads and different bits and pieces. And I always look at the music section. And they've got this uh, Dunlop Crybaby in there for 29 quids or quid or pounds. That's about uh, 35 or 36 dollars if you get the, get the, the drift. And I thought for 36 dollars I'll buy it and I'll give it to my grandson. Why not? He bought that flatly one, didn't he? For his 250, well, my wife did. 250 quid or something, I don't know. Anyway, you know, for each 36 or 37 dollars, or whatever it is, it will be better, in my opinion, than the flat width. So I decided to get it. So I bought it, I bought it home, and I plugged it in. I put a brand new battery in it, plugged it in, and uh, this is a story that you need to eat. And when I plugged it in, uh, yeah, the guitar volume was really low. You know, with the wire turned off. I mean, really low. If I leave the wire out of the equation, the amp was blaring at me. Think about this. Always try and check a product if you can't before you buy it. I couldn't because they didn't have the equipment for me to check it. So I bought it on the basis of, well, I bought other stuff from here. It must be okay. When it wasn't. This is the Crybaby pedal I bought. Yeah. Not bad condition considering a few scratches and things. But what we're going to do today isn't to carry on arguing with these idiots who say there's no fault. There is a fault. What we're going to do is drink my beer. Yeah, pretty out of sight. It's unprofessional. <laughs> oh my god. I decided in my wisdom to turn it into a monster. Like the message, you know. A real, ha, get at you. Yeah. Oh, where'd that come from? Yeah. So I went on to my friendly eBay. Actually, some people are fine on there. It's just a few percent that aren't. <laughs> yeah, I went on to my friendly eBay and found a company that was selling these, uh, these bits here. Actually, he wasn't selling them two bits. He was selling one, two, three, four bits. Yeah, there they are in my little package. I ordered them. What do they do? Well, this is what they do. True bypass. It's Clyde McCoy crybaby mod. Got one of these. The two Jimmy switch. And lastly, an on and off lead. Well, all of those various things there help the pedal. And they help the pedal to be something different than it is at the moment. And the, the Jimmy mod, by the way, down in here is what the guy that used to do Jimmy's pedals said he did to it. Can't argue with that. And it's switchable in and out and all that sort of stuff. So what we're going to do today with this junky pedal is we can rip all the guts out and we're going to fit all of these oh and by the way the actual fault on on this not according to their professionals but according to me was actually it it's got one of these that's faulty one of the input or output so i had to buy two of them from dunlop and those were about five quid a throw i think or seven and a half dollars each so those cost money but the rest of it, I think, cost me about $20. Or so. It wasn't really expensive, and you could choose any one of those mods. I chose the lot. Because I wanted to take this really cheap pedal and turn it into the monster that I've already said we're going to do. That's exactly what we're going to do. So if you've got one of these pedals, search for GMR spares. And by the way, I bought everything. Nothing but nothing is free to me. So this is a real review. It isn't like the clowns that you get on uh, YouTube 
that are <laughs> fake reviewers. Let's get on with it, shall we? I just thought I'd turn that on. The pigeon's going again from outside. I can hear him. He's just stopped. He's there. It's like an owl. <laughs> but he's a pigeon. Anyway, do you understand that while we're doing this, that he's arguing again. Do you understand that while we're doing this, that you'll need a soldering iron, you'll need some solder, you'll need some pliers, and you might need some wire cutters and things like that. Uh, simple basic things and the odd little uh, spanner so we can undo the knobs and things like that. There's nothing that you can't do given a little bit of practice, right? So this is all good for later on when you get to your amps and all the rest of it. But don't go doing them unless you know where you're at. It's a great project to start off with. Won't cost you a lot of money. If you're a younger guy, it won't cost you much at all. And you'll enjoy having a pedal that they sell for about £149 when it's been modded. That sounds like a good idea to me. So here we go. I'm going to focus the camera in and we're going to get this thing done today. Now. So this is the pedal, close up and personal, that we're going to modify. Yeah. All looks like a great idea. It's very easy. You can just screw these off. Put them over there somewhere. Out of sight, out of mind type of thing. And there we go. And don't forget it's a GCB95. There it is. Just as you'd expect. Looks like 1515. It's probably week 15 of 2015. Yeah, probably is. Yeah. Doesn't tell me much else anywhere else. So let's assume it's that. So that's the uh, the unit, the crap battery. Don't worry. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this board out. We're going to disconnect this. Take these two out here. And we're going to be taking that off as well. And we're going to be taking all the wires off. So it should all be exciting for you. But don't worry. You will end up with a pedal that works. Just follow these instructions and it's all good, right? So I'm going to start off by undoing that and undoing that, disconnecting this battery, yeah, disconnecting that, and then we'll pull this uh, circuit out here. Now let's go from there. And this is the tool you need. No, not me. This is the tool you need. It's a 11 mil, 11 millimeter. I'm afraid I've only got it as what it says on there. It's 11 millimeter, and you just put it on and unscrew it. Let's go do that. Of course, you also need a screwdriver to undo the screw. Sounds fun. And then the board will just simply pull out. That easy. I'll leave the other bits there for now. Because you want to do some work on this thing, right? Well, there's the board out of the uh, GCB95. And we've got some of these components to change over. But I wouldn't kill yourself do you know about that. It's easy enough. And I'm going to be changing these two out on mine, but you won't need to change those two on yours. We've got over there on the, uh, the pedal itself, we've got a few mods to do on that. But we're going to do those a bit later when we've got this board sorted out. And there's a whole procedure of four different things, well, three or four different things that I've said we're going to do. And uh, we're just going to attack them all and fit the components to the board and then later on you know when we come back to the pedal and we refit this we can do the last of the mods uh, as needed it's not too difficult but you will end up with this sort of great device what I'm going to do first of all it doesn't really involve you but I'm going to change those two out right now and uh, you won't see much difference except they'll be replaced you don't need to do that. So let me go and get my stuff out of the way and then we can get down to what you're going to do. Or well, hopefully you're going to do. And by the way, when we do get down to the nitty gritty later on, if you buy these kits, they've got, uh, they've got all the instructions in them. Look, what to change, what not to do and all the rest of it. So it makes it pretty easy when you go and do your own. Yeah, sounds like an idea, right? So there's my board with the uh, replacement sockets that were actually faulty on the unit when I bought it. That was the actual problem. And there's a quick shot of my pathetic soldering on the back, but uh, it's probably as good as yours. <laughs> 
So the first thing we're going to do is the uh, true bypass part of the board. Here's the little kit that uh, you buy from the guy. And uh, there's the diagram of the bits we're getting involved with. Okay, see that? So we're going to work on that first. I'll go and do what it says and then uh, I'll show you when I've taken the bits out, so to speak. Just so you can see, I've marked all of the components, including this one, uh, in black, the ones you've got to take out. Simple, huh? And that's how yours should look when you've uh, got your bits out, so to speak. Hmm. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a wire and we're going to solder it to that point there. That one there, just right by the tip of my thing. That's for later when we do the rest of the mods. But we're going to do that right now. As well as the grey wire that you can now see in place. Let's move that up a bit. As well as that's in place, you need to take a 47k resistor. There it is. And it goes where R15 used to be. Which is actually there. That one there. Across there. So I'm going to go and fit that now. So there it is, in place. So this trim pot's got to be fitted next. Small little thing, and it goes in there. And basically, uh, some people report a loss in volume when you convert it to true bypass. This will fix it so that you can uh, actually adjust that difference. Yeah. I'll go and fit it and show you how it, uh, how it works. Now with those pins laid out as they are, which there's a top one and two side ones, chop this left one off. And your results should look like that. Notice only those two are soldered. So your board will look like that. Or even like that. <laughs> Next thing to remove in our four part upgrade is uh, that one there. That's a 330 ohm resistor and it's connected to the emitter of Q1. That's Q1. Not marked, but don't worry about that. That's the one that's got to come out. Okay, so we'll take that one out now and uh, carry on. Actually, as well as that, we need to remove that one there. Right there. So we're going to take that one out and we're going to take this one out. Your board should now look like that that we've removed this one and we've removed that one. Okay. Now we're going to remove Q1, this one. Now we'll remove Q2. Now you can see that I fitted this one here. And I fitted that one up there. The one there is a 100k. And the one uh, down the bottom, 470k. There. Now scarily you've got to refit these two transistors. But you have to do the uh, legs in a bit of a funny way. The transistor comes like this. With three legs. One here, one here, and the one splayed backwards away from that little link. How it has to end up isn't like that. It has to be like this. So you take the centre one and you bend it at an angle. Like so. And then you fit both of them. Yours should work something like that. Next, this is the uh, the Jimmy mod actually. If you look at that capacitor there, just behind the right hand side uh, transistor, we're going to remove that. Later, these two wires will be twisted together and go off to a uh, switch. And that's how your PCB should work. Now you need to uh, on the end of these two orange wires that come off the uh, PCB, the ones you twisted together, there are two capacitors and you need to solder one on one side and one on the other and the two wires in the middle, just like I did. Okay. If you can see that, that's what they should look like. Or better, of course. So your board should look uh, roughly like that now. Okay. Now we move on to the uh, the board modification for the on-off LED. 
it's not a massive amount of work but there is some yeah and that's the next thing to do you take a, a lead and a 1.8k resistor and you solder it like so the resistor goes on the short leg your uh, lead should look like that basically you can see the negative's got the resistor on it well that's basically it for the board there is another couple of connections or one connection or give or take something like that but let's uh, move to doing the other bits now so that we can and slip this board back in and uh, it's all going to be good let's hold on a bit eh? well next up we, we're going to unscrew that there or actually just press it round because we want to get at some of these other things so as you see I actually took mine off well next up we're going to take this uh, switch off just disconnect the three wires and just pull this switch out now you might have to uh, do certain other things but we'll come back to that when you've removed the old switch and fitted the new one it should work like that and it does sit slightly angled so you can see that a little bit of the uh, the casting gets in the way you could grind that off but it doesn't really matter solder a wire like that now I soldered from this end connection over to where the black wire goes. Solder the original green wire as shown. Solder the purple wire from the original wire into the centre. Both blue wires, their originals, go to the bottom pin. On the uh, Clyde McCoy part, there's no more to do in that bit, so let's move on. And the Jimmy switch also doesn't need any more mods for now. We've got to draw a uh, a switch a bit later but for now that's the end of that one so let's move on when you're ready to fit the board back now we do need to take the uh, the lead wires and we need to solder them where the power jack is which is here and you actually have the red one on the outside and you have the grey one on the inside so I need to do that before we can put the board back and then uh, we can put the board back there are a few more mods but nothing dynamic so let's do that now and then we can refit the board remember red to the outside of the board and grey to the inside of the board and you can't go for it wrong oh you got it wrong oh don't do that note that the grey wire that comes from the PCB I also soldered there right on that end one I've got the lead to go in up here I'll probably drill there I've got the uh, switch to fit, probably somewhere there, maybe a bit further, it'll be somewhere there. And that's basically it. So I'm going to go and do them things now and I'll be back. And there's a quick shot of the, uh, the finished pedal. Uh, I haven't screwed the base on of course, but there it is finished. Exciting, huh? Next time you see it outside, it'll be uh, being tested. Let's hope it works. <laughs> it may not. Do I look flustered? <laughs> I should do. It's piping hot in here. I don't know. Don't have cooling in England. Yeah, piping hot. Anyway, there it is. I know my Jimmy switch. I have my little lead. I have my true bypass. And it might even work. <laughs> if it doesn't work, well, there's nothing lost, really. Looks just like an ordinary pedal for the most part. When you see that little lead, you'll probably see a picture of the lead up there, and uh, also maybe a picture of this little Jimmy switch. And by the way, yeah, I did do the tablecloth in while I was doing it. <laughs> Be warned, they're watching. <laughs> she came in. Mm. Anyway, there it is. You're gonna hear it outside in a minute. If it doesn't work, you won't hear it outside. <laughs> How easy is it to do uh, that conversion? Well, if you've got a, a duff one like this, which was duff on the two uh, connectors, or at least on one of them, then it's not too bad a job. You're not losing much, but if you spend a hundred quid on one, 95 pounds or 149, I don't know how much they are these days. Uh, if you spend a bit of money on them, well, you won't be careful if you don't know what you're doing and stuff like that. I mean, the instructions for them guys, G, M, R, spares, are actually pretty good. Uh, it can only be you that can get it wrong. So it's worth doing. 
Assuming everything works, I'd give it about a 7 out of 10. Nothing wrong with the components and the, the instructions were fine. But I don't know how many people would actually go and uh, do this. I would. I love more our pedals. But how many would do it? Well, I can tell you this, if you bought one of them flat weight pedals at 249 squids, or pounds, <laughs> you definitely do this instead. Uh, or at least I would. Uh, wait until Levi sees it. My grandson. Oh my god. I've got to have one. I can hear him now. So, 7 out of 10. It's going to be played any second now. Uh, don't forget to go to www.tennymackenzie.com and all. all this stuff I've been doing recently, I've been making photographs of it as we go. Uh, so I've got lots of stuff to uh, do on the internet when I get to it. God, it's hot in here. <laughs> so that's it for now. Watch the video for the noises. If it doesn't play, at least I tried. And if it doesn't play, I'll show you the fail. <laughs> I, I couldn't be bothered to go back and have another go. Yeah, I'm usually all right, but you never know. Till next time. Hope it was interesting, and I hope you have a go at doing yours. You know where to get your spares from. Go from there. Now get out of here. <laughs> I just wanted to show you uh, the sort of tones that you can get out of it. So. It's true bypass now, so if you listen to the guitar, it's like it was never in circuit. And this is the sort of tone you'd get. I'm using, uh, by the way, the Tremonti amp in the lead channel. It's on about 50% gain, so you can imagine how much gain can be on that thing. And, uh, yeah, pretty cool guitar. RG550 Limited, and it has some uh, Seymour's in there. They just sound great. Yeah. Well, actually, there's a DiMarzio and a Seymour, and that's a Seymour. <laughs>
a pretty fair update, uh, an improvement to a pedal that didn't work, remember? And uh, what more can you say? Yeah. <laughs> So there you have it, the uh, modified GCB95 Crybaby, cost me 29 quid and I think 20 pounds for the mods. What do you want for your money? Remember it didn't work when I bought it, so big improvement, yeah, all good, it will go in my collection of 10 wars down there, <laughs> but they're, honestly they're all different. Uh, yeah, so I can recommend uh, these mods from the company I bought them from and uh, I'll put something up in a few seconds about that so you have an idea where I got them from and uh, go and ask him if you want any. Remember there's four separate mods and you can do each one of them or all of them. I just decided to do the lot while I'd got it all in bits because it didn't work anyway. Hope you liked it. Till next time. Get out of here. And no, I didn't plug it in all through the system because it's just a little bit of a wah, you know. So what? Of course, the future stuff will be uh, getting plugged in. Yeah. So until next time, get out of here.